Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. I'm Kirsten Holmberg, and I titled our reading, Chocolate Snowflakes. Residents of Olten, Switzerland were surprised by a shower of chocolate shavings covering the entire town. The ventilation system at a nearby chocolate factory had malfunctioned, sending cocoa into the air and dusting the area with confectionery goodness. The chocolate coating sounds like a dream come true for chocoholics. While chocolate doesn't adequately provide for one's nutritional needs, God supplied the Israelites with heavenly showers that did. As they traveled through the desert, they began to grumble about the variety of food they left behind in Egypt. In response, God said He would rain down bread from heaven to sustain them. When the morning dew dried up each day, a thin flake of food remained. Approximately two million Israelites were instructed to gather as much as they needed that day. For 40 years of their desert wanderings, they were nourished by God's supernatural provision in manna. We know little about manna except that it was white like coriander seed and tasted like wafers made with honey. Though manna may not sound as appealing as a steady diet of chocolate, the sweetness of God's provision for His people is clear. Manna points us to Jesus, who described Himself as the bread of life that sustains us daily and assures us of life eternal. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Exodus chapter 16, verses 4 through 7 and 13 through 17. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will rain down bread from heaven for you. The people are to go out each day and gather enough for that day. In this way, I will test them and see whether they will follow my instructions. On the sixth day, they are to prepare what they bring in, and that is to be twice as much as they gather on the other days. So Moses and Aaron said to all the Israelites, In the evening, you will know that it was the Lord who brought you out of Egypt. And in the morning, you will see the glory of the Lord, because he has heard your grumbling against him. Who are we that you should grumble against us? Now picking up at verse 13. That evening, quail came and covered the camp. And in the morning, there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the dew was gone, thin flakes like frost on the ground appeared on the desert floor. When the Israelites saw it, they said to each other, What is it? For they did not know what it was. Moses said to them, It is the bread the Lord has given you to eat. This is what the Lord has commanded. Everyone is to gather as much as they need. Take an omer for each person you have in your tent. The Israelites did as they were told. Some gathered much, some little. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for providing for our deepest need in Jesus and sustaining us every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Kirsten Holmberg, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.